Why is everything vibration? Why, why if we can do, be, create anything, can we not create something non-vibrational? Does that question that, make sense? Well, it's a, it's a little bit like saying, why is up, up? Wouldn't it be better if up wasn't up? And we say, but it's up, accept it. Okay. It's a little bit like saying, well, it's not like saying anything <laughs> that, that we can think of with any good reason. Okay. In other words, it, it, it's, well, we get it when you, qu it, it's funny because we've been uh, several years now writing several books and conducting thousands of hours of seminars trying to convince you that you're a vibration because we want you to get to the core of that which you are in order to understand everything that exists through a different framework and then when you say well why does it have to be vibrational we say because it is in other words okay. in the, every particle of everything is is it and the absence of it in other words there's just that juxtaposition of perspective in everything and just the existence of it and the absence of it and the existence of it and the absence of it sets up a comparative relationship that is translated in physical terms into what you call frequency or vibration or energy and all of the words are um, minuscule and not nearly descriptive enough in relationship to the bigness of what's going on but sometimes people want to know what, what what was at the beginning and we say we have been looking forward for so long and trained ourselves to look into the new becoming for so long that the past or even your present is of no interest whatsoever to us in other words, the forward-looking universe is as a result of the springing of vibrations. But there is no value in questioning the basis of your existence. Does the question arise out of my focus more on the physical in our time-space reality than non-physical? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Although okay. as we feel you, we can feel the depth of your thought about it and we don't think that this is a frivolous question that you are offering sometimes and that's what we were saying earlier we seek to give all of you a a firmer basis of understanding in other words people as we said several times already today are enamored they are so so compelled to notice reality which doesn't serve you as well as you think it does because it causes a whole lot of out of the vortex comparison and and pushing against which does create more future but it hinders you so much in in the living of a life that's satisfactory in other words it's like arguing about which is better step one or step three and our we would submit that without step one step three couldn't exist and without step three step one would have no value in other words it 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 all you compare in order to expand but you must allow in order to receive the expansion and all of it is for the the thrill of living life okay so it's possible that a lot of people when they first hear us in fact people all over the planet are happier hearing the watered down version of law of attraction that is offered in the secret than they are the vibrationally based version that we are offering here because it's hard to accept your vibrational basis but without the acceptance of the vibrational basis you can't talk with any validity about the guidance system and without the guidance system you can't talk about who you are and without knowing who you really are you cannot move in the direction of who you really are in other words there is nothing there without the vibrational component it is everything okay um, about a week and a half ago, I, um, I had a bill that I had to pay 